Thousands of newborn babies and sick children are getting a little extra comforting in the form of a soft fleece blanket. Now, these blankets are the handiwork of some very dedicated teens and their adult leaders who call themselves the Blanket Angels. And they are this week's Harris's Heroes. Twice a month, a group of 7th and 8th grade girls at St. Pius X Regional School in Bowie come to the art room after school and tie knots. They call themselves angels, and they're making fleece blankets. Well, you make two knots, and then you have the solid color on the top. 13-year-old Abby Potter has been a blanket angel from the very beginning. And my sister um, started this club, so I started with her. That was six years ago. Now her sister and the two other founding angels are freshmen in college. The group has grown to 30 girls. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. And close to 2,400 blankets have been delivered to newborns and sick children in hospitals spanning from D.C. to Baltimore. Wait, is that one done? Almost. Mary Kate Allen's sister was among those sick children. And she just said that she was a light. It made her a day to think that someone can just have a blanket and be a lot happier is, is like a good feeling to have. And that's why the girls come back week after week. I, I know that a sick kid might not be getting better, but they're at least feeling better because of the blankets that we're making. Barbara Klobosko and Maureen Barber are a big part of the group's success. Be careful, blame this. All right. Their granddaughters started the Blanket Angels, and since their first delivery, they've been hooked. Sure, it's a lot of work, but uh, it, it's very rewarding. We think it's just, it's just a little blanket. Um, but for, for a mom who's got a baby in the NICU, and then she gets this little blanket, and and it's just this ray of hope. All right, it's a wrap. And to learn to think of others at that young of an age is so important, and it will, it'll, it'll inform them for the rest of their lives going forward, no doubt. Barbara and Clavasco pay for those materials for the blankets up front out of their own pockets to offset the cost. The Blanket Angels organize bake sales, raffles, and other fundraisers. So keep an eye out for them and support them if you can. That's great. And like you said, they use their free time to do that, these young girls. Yeah, that's right. That's and that's wonderful. why we love them. We love them. Way to go. Good job.